Hi there, and welcome to this print maps tutorial. Today I will introduce you to all the features of the print maps editor, while I show you how to create a personal travel map suitable for print. For instance, for in your photo book or on the wall. As you can see, I am located in Vienna, Austria, but today we will make several travel maps together all around the world. Like this one, of a travel through the Philippines, just to give you a quick idea of what this editor can do for you. Let's quickly run through the editor so that you know where you can find everything. First of all, it helps to enter full screen mode so that you have a good broad view on the map. This selected area is the size that the final map image will be. Here you can zoom in and out. You can rotate the map or tilt the map. I will show that later. You can change text scale, which changes the size of the text displayed on your map. You can Change the print size of your map here by picking a standard size like A5 or entering a custom size you would like to print your map in. As you can see, I can change the selected map area by grabbing the map and moving it around. And here you can lock the map area if you are satisfied with the way the map looks. On the design map page, you can change the map style. Change the language on the map and select layers you would like to display. And when we go to add content, this is where we can draw roots, upload recorded root files, add points of interest, and add colored shapes around countries, cities, and regions. Roots can be drawn in either the easy mode or the expert mode. In the easy mode, the editor will draw for you when you enter your starting points and your next destination. In the expert mode you can draw the route yourself. Choose between drawing with a line that snaps magnetically to existing hike or cycle lanes or car roads Draw straight or arc lines. Just enter your starting point and destination by tapping on the rightful location on the map. Easily undo and redo here. To mark point of interest on the map, you can either add a single pin by dragging it to its rightful location on the map, or add multiple pins at once by filling in their location in the spreadsheet. If you'd like to use different markers than the standard markers that the editor offers, you can upload your own custom markers here. So let's say you traveled to the Caribbean coast of Costa Rica and you would like to show your route on the map. You can easily jump to any location and just zoom in or out. And here under advanced style settings you can pick the labels you would like to show. I would like to hide cities and towns, so I deselect them to show a more empty image of the map. I can hide the surroundings by adding a shape around Costa Rica, which I then would invert and apply. And here you can change uh, the color of that shape. I'll make it white to create a floating effect separating Costa Rica from neighboring countries. I'll add another shape over Costa Rica to change the color of the country. This way you can highlight any country, region or city. can tilt the map and also rotate it uh, to show the country in any way you like. Then you can draw your roots. You draw in the easy mode, we can just enter starting point capital San Jose. We will take the car, but for this map we will not show the icon of the car. And 
we will head to Limon at next stop and as you can see uh, the line snaps magnetically to existing roads and this way it shows the exact route that you drove and here you can change the color of the line and you can change the thickness of the line by clicking on the number I would like to enter my starting point with markers and I will fill uh, my destinations in here in the spreadsheet. We start at San Jose and as you can see here it shows preview. That means that it found the destination. We'll go to Limon and here we can enter a shape and we can give the markers a label. Uh, but for now I would just like to show uh, them as dots, so I will just make this also black and here I can adjust the size. Now you know how to color a country and to draw a simple route. Next let me show you how to create a map with different travel modes, by plane, autobus and boat traveling through the islands of the Philippines. The first steps are pretty straightforward, therefore I'll speed it up a bit. And then I quickly enter the rest of the routes. We traveled from Puerto Princesa to El Nido by autobus. So here it snaps again to the roads. I'll also make that a blue line. From here we went on an amazing boat trip, island hopping all the way to Coron. So I will draw the rest of the route. Here I will draw in boat mode, which are also arc lines. And we traveled from El Nido, we left from the harbor. And now I will mark our first stop. Also here you can easily zoom in. mark the first stop and here on the right I will still select the icon so that the boat will show on the map and now I will draw the rest of the island hopping routes where we left off the first island stop To all the other islands that we visited. To the harbor in Colón. And as you can see here on the right we have the layers that are displayed on the map. 
and here you can always make adjustments so I will add the airplane icon here and under design map I can pick a different map style and I'll go for green and when you click on preview it will show a preview of what the map is going to look like when we download it awesome map for in my photo book next to some epic pictures of my travel through the Philippines I'd like to say Besides drawing your route, it's also possible to upload a recorded route. Uh, last year I went on a crazy motorbike loop in the north of Vietnam. I will show this trip as an example. Be aware that when you adjust the print size to larger than 220mm side length, the image will not be available as a PNG. So in this scenario where I would like to print a map in my photo book, I would like to download a PNG for 6 euros, close to 7 dollars, awesome price for my personal use. So I will pick side length 220 millimeters, a tiny bit bigger than A5. File types for these recorded routes can be GPX, KML or GeoJSON, and you can add them under Upload File. The route for the motorbike loop in North Vietnam is taken by hundreds of people yearly, so it is quite a standard route which I could easily find online. I upload this downloaded GPX route of the motorbike loop and, as you can see, it appears on the map. Let me now quickly edit this map with colored shapes. I'll forward it since you've already seen how it works. Click on download map. And here you can pick the file type. I'll go for PNG. Since I will only print it once in my photo book, I'll go for mini. And it's for private use. In case I have a discount code, I can enter it here. And here I will fill in my name and email address and I can pay with either credit card or PayPal. I agree to the terms of use and purchase. So this is not an illustrated tutorial, but just to give you an idea of what I would do with this map in case I would like to add it to a personal photo book, I opened the map file in Illustrator. I'll save this file as an image and upload it as a page-wide image in my photo book. During the creation you will remember every step of the way of your awesome trip. Thanks for watching!